and I think who you yeah, and let's speak uh, security analysts on, on this uh, interrogator uh, uh, key point needs to be raised there. Uh, Ali Sani is a uh, security analyst who joins me live for our phone. Good afternoon, sir. So, would you agree with him? And is there a fair assessment to say that the emergence of vigilante growth is as a result of a breakdown of the country's security apparatus? A very good afternoon to your um, listeners. Um, I cannot completely hook, line, and sinker run away from the fact that we do have certain fundamental issues with our security setup in the country and also taking cognizance of the ill-equipped nature of the police service and also the fact that they are not even enough and in some cases uh, they are overstretched when we have national events. But that doesn't warrant in no uncertain terms the creation of these political vigilante groups because we do know factually the effect they usually have on a democracy of every country taking into consideration uh, what happened in the 2007 Kenyan elections, what happened in Ivory Coast between 2010 and 2011, and what happened in Liberia and Sierra Leone. So we cannot afford as a country to make those same mistakes because my brother usually these guys don't operate in a vacuum they need resources they need money and these resources are provided to them by the political class and in ghana we say there's nothing like free lunch the fact that they resource them means they use them for certain in many cases illegal activities that is inconsistent with the rule of law so well, for me one, we've had this conversation before, a man's past. We're having this conversation today. It is most certain that we'll be having the same conversation in two or three years now. I think that's what uh, appears will happen. And, and that's mainly according to, and frankly, the view of many people, uh, simply because of the push of their two major political parties. Depending on whether they're in, in power or in opposition, their, their position changes. Is it something, a trend, really? Um, it, 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 there is a possibility of us managing the situation to a very large extent, okay? However, it's only possible if we have especially the two major political parties showing that level of commitment to that process. Because prior to the 2016 election, we had the police administration, certain civil society organizations, religious bodies, and even the political parties appending their signature to a Magna Carta sort of document, reaffirming their commitment to not tolerating or condoning the activities of vigilante groups within their food. However, the next minute, you either have the NDC or the MPP outdooring a new vigilante group. So for me, it should go beyond the romantic talk. I mean, it is time to walk the talk by showing that commitment to dealing with the menace of vigilante That's groups. That's your whole the for walking the talk. Grateful. Uh, for your time, I was the security analyst, Abhisani, and elsewhere, President Kukwala.